how to use the hopper in Minecraft. This video will explain the hopper, how it works, how to lock the hopper, hopper pipes, and how it interacts with other redstone components. What is the hopper? The hopper can be used as a container similar to a chest and also is a redstone component. The hopper has five inventory slots. The hopper can be interacted with similar to a chest and can be opened by right clicking and moving items from the inventory into the hopper or vice versa. The crafting recipe for the hopper is five iron ingots and a chest in this pattern in the crafting table. A hopper has to be mined with a pickaxe, otherwise it will be destroyed. In the Java edition, the hopper cannot be moved by a piston. To place a hopper, use the place control or right click in the direction you want it to point. You can see what direction it points with a black part at the bottom of the hopper and what direction it faces. It can either face sideways or down. If the block you are trying to face the hopper towards is interactable, you will have to left shift or crouch to place the hopper. If you are looking upward at a block when placing the hopper, the hopper will face downwards. The hopper cannot change directions, even if the blocks around it are destroyed. Despite not being solid blocks, rails, levers, tripwire can be placed on top of the hopper. Rails can be used to have hopper minecarts go over the hopper and deposit items in them. Hoppers can be crafted with minecarts to create hopper minecarts. The hopper minecart is used to transport items and in farms for collecting dropped items. How does the hopper work? How the hopper works is it has three different functions. One is to collect item entities into its inventory from the space above it. This means if you drop an item on top of the hopper, the hopper will collect it and put it in its inventory. If there is a block on the hopper, it will be unable to collect items in the hopper's inventory. The hopper will check for items every game tick or every 0.05 seconds. The hopper can remember the order items are dropped on the hopper. The second is to pull items from the container above it. For example, from other containers like chests or other hoppers that are above it. The third is to push a single item from its inventory into a container it is facing. This is why it is important what direction the hopper is facing. The hopper does have a transfer cooldown when it pushes or pulls items. A hopper will wait 4 redstone ticks or 0.4 seconds before pulling or pushing items again. When a hopper pushes an item into another hopper, there starts a 4 tick cooldown period. Items can be collected from the hopper at any time without it affecting the transfer cooldown time. All this means is the hopper can collect items quicker than it can pull items. Also the minecart hoppers may be slower as the minecart may not directly be on the hopper. Item pushes and pulls are processed on the same game tick. The hopper pushes items before it pulls. The hopper will try to push, pull and collect from the leftmost inventory slot. When hoppers remove items from the container, it will be from left to right, and the same goes from putting items into a container. Hoppers prioritize pulling from the first slot of a container over pulling it from the first hopper slot. If the hopper has one slot full of cobblestone and the chest has torches in the first slot and cobblestone in the second, the hopper will pull the torches. If the hopper is full of cobblestone, then it will pull the cobblestone from the container. The hopper will also push items from the inventory the same way. How to lock hoppers. The hopper interacts the opposite of most redstone components when it receives a redstone signal. The hopper will turn off instead of on. For a redstone signal, this means power components like redstone blocks, buttons, daylight detectors, lecterns, levers, observers, pressure plates, redstone torches, targets, trap chest, tripwire hook, and weighted pressure plates. The redstone signal can be from redstone dust that is activated touching the hopper. It can also be from a soft powered block, meaning an opaque block next to the hopper that has an active redstone dust pointing into the block. Doing this will lock the hopper, not allowing any items to move into the hopper or out of the hopper. One thing to keep in mind when locking hoppers is that items can still be pushed into the hopper when it is locked. If you want to lock a hopper, make sure that the one above the one you're locking is facing sideways. 
If it is facing down, it will push items into the hopper you are trying to lock. Hoppers don't have to face down to travel downwards as they can pull items from the hopper above. Also the hopper you are trying to lock will push items downward even when locked if the hopper is facing down. Another option is to lock two hoppers if you want the hoppers to face down. What is a hopper pipe? Also when three or more hoppers are in a row, this is a hopper pipe. Horizontal hopper pipes push at a normal rate, but with vertical hopper pipes, it is more complicated as the hoppers are trying to push and pull items. If a stack of items is in a vertical hopper pipe, the items will move twice as quickly as they are being pulled and pushed. How redstone components interact with the hopper. Both the dispenser and the dropper will interact with the hopper normally. Items from the hopper can be put into the dispenser and pulled from the dispenser if the hopper is underneath. With a composter, hoppers that face into the top of the composter can push compostable items like food, plants, and seeds into it. Items that cannot be composted will not be put into the composter. When an item is put into the composter, it has a chance to increase the compost level. When the compost level reaches level 7, it goes to compost level 8 and produces one piece of bone meal. This bone meal can be pulled into the hopper below. Hoppers pointing into the side of the composter will not do anything. With a brewing stand, a hopper above it can deposit items that are valid brewing ingredients into the ingredient slot. This is the slot at the top. Hoppers facing into the side can deposit blaze powder, which is used as fuel or filled bottles into the three brewing slots. A hopper underneath will take items from the brewing slots. This means that hoppers underneath could keep taking water bottles or potions out before brewing the potion. You would have to lock the hopper underneath to be able to brew potions. It is possible to deposit all the items needed to brew potions using hoppers. Chests above the hopper will have items pulled from it and hoppers pointing into the chest will have items pushed into the chest. A trap chest will emit a redstone signal when accessed by the player, so opening a chest will lock the hopper a trap chest is touching. Trap chests will also interact with the hopper the same way as a chest. Barrels interact with hoppers like chests. With the furnace, blast furnace, and smoker, a hopper pointing into the top will deposit items into the ingredient slot or the items that will be smelted. The hopper will push items into the furnace even if it can't be smelted. A hopper going into the side can push items into the fuel slot and it has to be items that can be used as fuel. A hopper below will pull items from the output. It can also pull empty buckets if a bucket of lava is used as fuel. When items are pulled from the furnace, the XP will be stored in the furnace until an item is taken out by the player. A minecart chest and hoppers can be filled by an unlocked hopper if any part is within the hopper's target space. Hopper minecarts pull items from the hopper at a high speed. Rails can be placed on hoppers so that items can be pulled from the minecart. If a detector rail is in the right position, it could lock the hopper. Hoppers cannot put shulker boxes in other shulker boxes. Besides that, hoppers will interact with shulker boxes like other containers. Ender chests cannot interact with the hopper at all. With the redstone comparator, it is used to measure the fullness of a container like a hopper. It can output a redstone signal depending on how many items are in the hopper. This can be used to create a circuit as the comparator won't give a signal when the hopper is empty or can output a signal if the hopper has a certain amount of items in it.